Hi, I'm Miss Dara from the Rogers Public Library and today we're doing Creative Coders. So last week in Creative Coders you talked about if statements. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about if statements and then um, we are going to, I'm going to show you how to do a game and we're going to see a robot. So if statements are con control structures that make decisions or conditionals. So it creates a true or false statement. So if then statements such as, are you going out to play? You answer yes or true. And if that's yes, you put on a hat. If not, it doesn't do anything. So the, if we wanted to go beyond that, we could do what is called a if else statement. So if we're gonna do something, we do this. If that doesn't happen, then we're gonna do something else. So. Are you going out to play? Is it raining? If it's raining, then yes, you take an umbrella. If it's not, you're gonna just put on a hat because we already know from before that you put on a hat if you go outside. So here's some real life scenarios. If it's raining, I wear rain boots, else I just wear tennis shoes. Or if it's Saturday, I watch a movie after dinner, else I read a book. If there is chocolate, I pick chocolate, else I pick strawberry, because that's my second favorite, right? So we use if else statements all the time in life. Well, computers have to do the same thing. So there's a game that we can play using if else statements. So the first one is Simon says, if then or if then else. So everybody, um, in order to play this game, you have to follow the directions like Simon says. So if, here's our example. If you have brown hair, then raise your right hand. Or if you wanna make this more difficult, you have to make it, um, you have to add your else statement to it. So if you have brown hair, like me, then you raise your hand. If you don't have brown hair, so you're else, you raise your left hand. So everybody can do that. That's easy. So you can come up with all kinds of different things. If your name starts with J, then give me a thumbs up. Else, give me a thumbs down. Or if the month of your birthday ends with a Y or an R, raise both of your hands. Else, keep your hands down. If you play soccer, then kick your feet. Else, raise your hands. If your favorite ice cream flavor is chocolate, then stick out your tongue. Else, nod your head. So there's all kinds of different ones. If your hair is brown, blonde, red, if your eyes are brown, blue, green, if you're wearing shorts, a t-shirt, you could use anything like that, the weather. So just create a game that you can use to try using if then statements or if then else statements, all right? So today we're gonna show you this robot. This is Botley, so let me turn him on. He's just got a little switch on the bottom. And he's really cute and friendly. And he has these little arms that come off if you want to take the arms off. And I think they have other attachments too that you could stick on there. And he comes with this little remote and the remote is just to put his directions in. So if you push down on it and then hit the transmit, he will do that. Or you can make him turn or different things. And then if you want to clear it, because if you continue to add, he will just continue to do more and more and more actions. But if you want to clear it, you hit the trash can and it completely wipes out. There's also these cards that have different directions on them or there's um, to go different ways, straight, turn, or there's this repeat card. And so you can, decide where you want it to go, laid out all of your cards, 
coat it using this to make sure that you um, get all of your directions in and then watch Botley do it. You create mazes and let Botley go through your maze. So he's not an expensive robot. We have two of them here at the library. So maybe next time you come in, you can ask and we'll show you Botley. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.